I automatically gets the remarks based on this grades bracket. So sample, the grades is 76. Then the result is fairly satisfactory. 79, fairly satisfactory. What if 82? Satisfactory. What if 85.5? Okay, very good. So 89, 90, 94.6. Ninety-nine, okay, one hundred. So, how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end, and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So let's create a new one, guys. But before that, let's open this. So all what we need is the name of the the table, which is the grades bracket, and also this one. This is our criteria, the two. Okay, and also this one. So never mind about this field. So let's create a query and then grade result, then close. So bring down these three fields. Then uh, click here and then press Shift F2 to zoom. Then now let us type remarks then let's gonna use the dlookup function so dlookup then double quote so that, this is the result guys so the result should be the okay status then um, comma to proceed another parameter so the next parameter is the name of the table or the name of the query. So since our source is in the table, so we will use this one. So grades bracket. Grades bracket. So never mind about the lowercase or the uppercase as long as the spelling is correct. Okay. Then another parameter is 2. Okay. Then Greater than or equal to, then double quote, ampersand, then the criteria for this um, query is the grid. Okay, and then don't forget to enclose parentheses. So click OK, and let's try. Here we go. So let's put, for example, um, 95. Okay, excellent. So, student number 12, 90 or 71. Okay, needs help. And why this method is very important, guys? So, this is important, especially if you are creating a payroll management system. Just like here in the Philippines, let me show you my Excel file. Here in the Philippines, we have called the SSS deduction, one of the government requirements. And then, um, all uh, what we need for this is the uh, the, com the computation for employer share and also the share of employee, the deduction of employee. And then the basis is this one, the one month salary. Okay? So that's why we need this kind of method. So not just only in grading system but also in payroll management system. So I hope this video, guys, helps you a lot. And if you have some questions, feel free to comment it down below. And I'll try my best to answer. So that's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.